welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god i humbly come to you in prayer as your child to ask for your help i seek and crave better relationships with you but i keep letting things get in the way show me how to be stern about things i stand for and want do not let temptation get the best of me because you deserve that and more remind me to apply myself more to the things of the kingdom and let go of worldly things i thank you for for never leaving my side even when our relationship isn't the best you always remain faithful and loyal to your people guide me towards your will for me in jesus name i pray amen so i pray that that prayer blesses you guys today i have been sick for the past few days i'm still sick but i got some good medicine that mucinex that is a strong one i had to sign for it but i'm walking uh, i'm up so I am able to film today, you guys. I kind of got a cold. There was a shift in weather. It was really hot last week. It was in the 80s. This morning was 29 degrees. It kind of got really cold. Um, so then that's what got me sick. So I'm feeling slightly better today. So I am here filming, y'all. Um, you guys always ask me where I get my prayers from. I always post them on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me over on Instagram and also TikTok if you have those social media platforms. And I post them on my Instagram stories. In my Instagram stories, all you gotta do is click on the picture right there. You'll see the prayer right there and you click on the prayer. It will take you directly to the page where I get them from. And then you guys can also follow them as well so you can get your prayer um, every day. So there's so that's where I get them from um, so today I am going to be putting a lot of my fall decor away I'm going to be cleaning, so it's a cleaning vlog um, I've been sick for the past few days so I've been doing small things here and there but um, today I'm gonna put the stuff away I already put the fall decor away from the upstairs I just gotta work on the downstairs and get some cleaning done I also want to thank you guys for supporting me whenever I have sponsored content so here's a word from our sponsor I would like to thank native for sponsoring today's video I love that native products are clean effective and made with simple ingredients that are very easy to understand with native bestsellers pack you can enjoy every part of your shower routine with their body wash deodorant and deodorant body spray Plus, their products are clean, simple, effective, and will keep you smelling good all day. Native has a huge range of scents to please anyone, from the subtle sweetness of vanilla with the beachiness of coconut, or the calming salty breeze with sea salt and cedar, which is the one that I have, and I absolutely love this scent. Or if you would like something sweeter, you can enjoy the fruity sweetness of sweet peach and nectar. Whatever combination you can think of, they probably have it with limited edition scents launching all the time. The classic deodorant has long lasting protection and provides up to 72 hours of odor protection. The body wash leaves your skin feeling soft and hydrated and frosts up into a luxurious lather without any sulfated or surfactants and it makes a great addition to bubble baths. Right now, you can also get your personal care routine in the holiday spirit with their 2023 holiday collection featuring candy cane, sugar cookie, fresh mistletoe, and spiked eggnog. These seasonal scents are oh so good and you'll want to sniff them all. Get your best sellers pack today, normally $36, but if you use my link and code simply Yesenia, you can get your deodorant body wash and deodorant and body spray for only $24. That's 33% off. The link will be down in my description box and I want to give a huge thank you to Native again for sponsoring today's video. Alright y'all, so this is the living room. I'm going to clean, put some stuff away. Um, luckily, I didn't go full blown stuff everywhere. It shouldn't take me long to put, you know, start taking stuff down. And I just want to be able to dust because I don't think I've dusted this area since I've put the garland and stuff there. I'm excited to decorate for Christmas, but in between decorating, for Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, I don't decorate for Thanksgiving, decorating for fall and Christmas, I leave things like empty. I have to have a cleaning period. Do you get what I'm saying? I can't just take something down and just put the rest of the stuff up. I need to clean and have like a day or two where there's nothing there and then I start bringing stuff out slowly. And like always, I like to zone out when I'm cleaning. I either listen to music, 
listen to a podcast. Um, I could listen to an audiobook right here. I'm listening to an audiobook called Air of Fire. Is that what it's called? Yep, Air of Fire. It's very, very good. I think this is either the third or fourth book, but I'm waiting for Iron Flame to come out on November 7th. That's the second book to Fourth Wing, but I love to like just you know, clear my mind, listen to that. And I, and I just be cleaning my house. Y'all it's so enjoyable. like to do is I don't like to pretty much take something down and then just put something up right away I like to have my cleaning periods where I get to declutter and clean thoroughly and then bring some more stuff out with every season I declutter um, I look at things okay I'm not gonna use that this time I didn't use it last year because sometimes if I have a question mark with an item I'm like well I'll put it back because I'm not sure and then I will go ahead and declutter it if the next year comes like this year and I'll see I'm like nah I'm not I'm for sure not going to use it so I just go ahead and declutter it that's a perfect time to do it but I just like it when you know how you put all your stuff away everything just looks like it's empty it usually feels that way especially after, um, after you put your Christmas decor away the house it just feels so good to me like when it looks so empty that empty look I always say that empty look but like just that minimal it, everything just feels so clean I love it so much Time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion You don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with Can you just reassure?
Y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I took a million breaks. I sat down, caught up on TikTok, Instagram, sent messages back to my friends, talking on the phone, look, looking through Amazon. I took many, many breaks. It wasn't me just cleaning straight. Most of the time when you watch a cleaning video, ain't nobody cleaning straight. We take a lot of breaks. Usually, I don't post. But I want the world to know Time to pull a drop top out Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We been keeping it in the house Netflix and chillin', a GDM and yeah Didn't wanna share my love Till I found someone I'm sure of Young and untamed I've been out of range Keeping it low But I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Well, baby, gotta hold on it Don't let love on But I never let him catch me No, I never let him claim me Wild thing, try to tame me But you got my mood on sunshine Let's take a trip Souls on big smile Let's hit this lake Stars are in line I'm supposed to lay with me in the moonlight I wanna be bold with it Don't care who we told about it Well, baby, gotta hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight They'll be calling us gold no y'all so i don't know if you've been catching up on the golden bachelor but if you've never heard of it it's on hulu it's kind of like the bachelor which i i've never cared for y'all i've never seen a not a near not a bachelor episode or bachelorette episode you guys but for some reason the golden bachelor just caught my eye because the gentleman was of a certain age he's 71 years old so i kind of was curious and it's older women they were more mature so it definitely caught my eye especially when i kept seeing commercials about it so I just recently watched episode five. By this time you guys watch this video, episode six should be already out. I told you I was going to discuss this with you guys. Okay, so I was talking with Tiff last night while I was watching. We were going back and forth and she was telling me some things. But this is what I think. So, now, when I'm watching it, I remember a lot of the women's names. But when I'm talking to you guys, my mind go blank. Now, the one that looked like... Um, Bruce Jenner, she went home on episode four. I was so glad she was so messy and so petty. Right, so episode five. Now, I feel like one of the women is very emotional. I guess she's, she didn't have any parents. And then when she was in relationship, she was getting cheated on over and over. So she's never had a healthy relationship. So when he would go out on dates with the other women in the house, she would get very jealous. Now, the good thing is I can't remember her name. So you guys will have to watch the episode. She would get very jealous and she would cry and cry and cry. And then she t started talking to him and she got very emotional, with made, which made him very emotional. Gary, I think that's his name or Jerry. I don't know. He He's such a sweet guy. He gets emotional as well. And I think that's what earned her a rose. Um, now, Teresa, she, uh, hmm, I feel like she, how do you fall in love? They're all saying they fall in love with this man. Now they all say they fall in love with me, with him. I'm like, okay, I can see how he has some good qualities. But she's like, I'm completely madly in love with you. She was telling him this. And I'm getting to the point that I can't live without you, she said. I'm like, what? And you know what's crazy though? He said, oh, that is so nice, Teresa. 
I'm like, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> if you watch that episode, tell me what you think about that, okay? I'm like, wait, you can't live without this guy? You just met him. Yeah, I understand you may have maybe some stirrings or whatever, you know. It's probably been a minute. She says it's been like over 36 years, you know. But to get to that point, to you can't live without someone? You know, I don't know. That's, I think that's a little much. What y'all think? All right, y'all. So I'm done in the living room for now. Y'all, I was going to get over cellars and take down the curtains to wash it, which ain't nothing really wrong. But every few months I do that. I was going to shampoo the carpet. The way I, uh, I'm feeling right now, I can't do that. I have to take a little treatment too. <laughs> it sounded good though. But this thing right here, y'all, I was sick for days. And then I got this one right here. I had ordered it from Walmart. And um, I had to sign for it. This one's a strong one. And when I tell you, because I was taking medicine, nothing was working. Even other Mucinex medicines. But this one, y'all... I'm able to be here today because of this. Um, so now I'm going to tidy up and clean this kitchen. Put these dishes away from John washing them that, um, last night. And then I'm going to start putting this fall decor away, give it a good cleaning. Yeah. Up and leave. Take a lot of courage just to live out your dreams. Bigger picture I could see if I just close my eyes. Have the foresight to believe Time don't move backwards, it speeds To the future fearlessly Charging forward when I open my mouth Though I may not know how I know I was born to sing Travel the world Raise baby girls y'all so i'm going to fill up a bucket with warm water that's why i'm letting the water run because I, I like to get it nice and hot and it takes a while for that to happen and of course i gotta use my gloves but i like to add the uh, mr clean unstoppables and i'm going to wipe down all of the waste coating and all of the cabinets y'all it's a workout it's a lot of hard work but um last time i did it was in june when my mom was here and it's definitely time because they're dusty. they got grease stains. The ones over top of the stove, those are always dirty and greasy. So definitely wipe down your cabinets. I also wanted to say if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and clicking on my videos. I appreciate you guys so much. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Yesenia. I am a married woman. I have my husband, John, and we've been married for 17, 18 years, or we're about to be 18 years. I don't know for sure, you guys. <laughs> don't ask John. <laughs> We've been married a long time. We I got we got three kids, a 14-year-old Devin, 13-year-old 13-year-old David, and my 10-year-old Destiny. We live here in Augusta, Georgia. And I love filming, you guys. I love basically I film whatever I want. I film shopping, I cook. I bake, I clean, I film vlogs. I just do what I want to do. So I hope you enjoy this content just enough to subscribe to my channel. The holiday content is coming soon. We got a lot of stuff going on. So I can't wait for you guys to watch that.
you did that Yeah, you crossed the line about a thousand times and I did that Yeah, I stayed a while, tried to make it right Cigarette No, I never smoked, but my heart is broke Explosive Stressing for that old thing back That initial love All the goosebumps Those factors in my gut Wanna go back to how it was Lay in each other's arms all day, all day. Send me gifts just because Tell me where we went wrong Started out as homies Ended up as lovers How they get so ugly Can't we rediscover, baby What it was Well, let's be honest it was just a lover You were so romantic We were picture perfect So much freaking passion Why we never got it back, babe? It was just a lover Really wish you didn't push me away I was willing to try long as it takes I would never say we were a mistake, but fleeting romance does in a lifetime. Yeah. That initial flood, all the goosebumps, those letters in my gut, turn into disgust. What a waste of love, babe. I just wanna go back to how we. Alright guys, so are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Have you been buying the groceries? I think it's kind of a little bit too soon. I, well, we already bought the, thir the turkey and the ham, but soon I'm going to start prepping some stuff. So like that on the actual day, it'll be a lot easier. I think a few days before I'm just going to pre- pre-make a lot of the stuff and then all I have to do is put the stuff in the oven or whatever has to be made but of course y'all already know we have family coming to visit for Thanksgiving I'm so excited I'm so excited so I'm trying to get the house ready y'all I'm trying to clean and deep clean and just make every make sure everything is done and like the last week or two before Thanksgiving it's not like everything is a mad rush you know and I'm stressed out so I am so excited y'all so question of the day is are you guys hosting Thanksgiving? Are you going to visit families or friends for Thanksgiving? What are your plans? And what are you guys planning on making? So I am planning to film like the Thanksgiving vlogs. Now last year I did a Thanksgiving series part one and part two. I'm trying to see how I'm going to do it this year since I'm going to be busy doing a lot of cooking and stuff. So I don't know if I should do it day by day like part like day one, day two, day three or just I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I'm trying to still kind of figure it out. Of course, I'm going to film it for you guys. Last year when I filmed Thanksgiving vlogs part one and part two, you guys really enjoyed it. Y'all enjoyed look, seeing the family. So I can't wait for y'all to see them again. And then when y'all see, y'all got to see them in spring break and our Florida trip. We miss them. Maybe you only want what you can't have. Never seem to be satisfied Till it all goes bad Maybe I should just give someone else a chance Why should I sit alone and be sad While you fumble the best you Forced to start over when we fell apart Could have had it all But you pushed me right into his arms You wanted to break I wanted to stay Look what you made me give My love away
so easy where I could be so critical of myself for not getting everything that I wanted to do done because I did want to shampoo the carpet and stuff and I wanted to get in the um clean the oven and stuff my now my oven's not that bad but I wanted to do that but I'm actually quite proud of myself because of the fact that I did all the all those things while still being sick so I have to learn how to give myself some grades and reach not for perfection but just just get whatever I can done so beautiful time is what makes it ugly but time after time and through every turn in this life i could use some stability we fly and we fall but we don't fall apart break after break each piece of my heart and that is it y'all everything else so far has is done um my camera because i was working hard see the sony camera with the batteries the battery life is very short the quality is really good but the battery life is very short so i have to constantly keep changing it and then my camera was getting hot but i was able to wipe everything down the floor smells good y'all i missed the clean scent with the unstoppable scent the blue one Smells amazing. It smells like clean laundry right now in the kitchen. If y'all can smell what it smells like in here, it's amazing. And if you've tried that, you know what it smells like. Um, I wanted to get to clean my oven and my um, deep uh, deep clean the dishwasher because you got to do those things too. Luckily, my oven is not too bad. And neither is my dishwasher because I've been constantly wiping it down. So but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, so... Living room is done. So it's the kitchen. I'm going to leave it like this for a few days, a few more days, maybe a, another week. Because I like to enjoy the no clutter, no nothing before I bring something in. So I, I can't jump from one thing to another that quickly. Not me anyway. I need to have the space cleaned, feel good, and then I'll bring some new, some new stuff in. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course, I will show you guys what that looks like. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Native. Definitely recommend, which I am looking forward to their um, holiday body washes. Ooh, I love stuff like that, y'all. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye, y'all.